Today's episode features guests who decide to skip college and instead learn business skills by trial and error rather than by formal instruction. John Gillespie Brown, against the advice of his family, decided to skip college and start a cleaning business. He's since become a serial entrepreneur and also mentors prospective business owners. Uh, the one big mistake I, I made very young and I should have rectified and I would encourage anybody else to would be to get a mentor. And one of the reasons I spend a lot of time mentoring and have mentored so many people is because I realized how dumb I was for not getting one. Um, one of the great benefits of a mentor, what could have happened for me, is it would have stopped me falling down these very large holes, which seemed to happen a lot. And I spent most of my career as an entrepreneur digging myself out of a dumb hole I'd made. Uh, the second thing is that, and the reason I wrote the book partially, was that often I would use the uh, fire-ready aim rule of business, uh, which subsequently um, most people learn is the wrong way around. So, that, so to a certain extent, I would get very excited and passionate about an idea. I would jump in, and then several months or years down the path, I would think, why did I do this? My next guest, Neil Gottlieb, rejected going to business school to avoid going into debt and instead chose to spread the joy of eating organic ice cream. You know, an, an important thing to know about Three Twins, in, in addition to you know the fact that we just have really good ice cream, is also all the things that we do in the periphery to try to make it a better business. We use all compostable containers in, for serving our ice cream, which includes spoons made out of potatoes and bowls made out of sugar cane fiber, to cups made out of corn plastic, that you know our, our customers really enjoy because they know that it's not going to end up in a landfill because. We separate everything out and bring it to a composting facility over in Berkeley. We, we offset our emissions from the energy that we, that we buy. You know, we only use certified organic ingredients to make certified organic ice cream. And we're also members of 1% for the planet, which means that regardless of how we do financially as a company, we're going to give away 1% of our sales. So you know, it started with a few thousand dollars, and, and that number keeps on growing. So as we're at the end of 2008, I have a number of thousands of dollars to just give away to environmental nonprofits, which is a bit scary, but it's, it's also wonderful that we get to have that positive impact as well. Mm -hmm.